Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 Ford Ranger. It's a 3.2 TDCI 200 Wildtrak Auto. It's done just 74,000 miles and it's got full service history with three services in total. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here today with me in person. As I walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints. We'll look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths under the arches. We'll have a look in the back. Then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats and all the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. When we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay. And finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and of course the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you'd like to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance it, we can go through an application with you which takes about five minutes and we can usually get your decision within around an hour. Because it is a plus VAT vehicle, we will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT in most cases. In some instances, we can get around that, but that's going to depend on you and your personal circumstances. So please just give us a shout and ask worth mentioning that when you've watched the video if you think I've missed something if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail please just ask it's not a problem I'd rather you see it while you're sat at home and that you're comfortable with what it is you're coming to look at so that obviously you can make an informed decision before you even get here right so let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'll not move it Looks like it's sunbathing um, so the bonnet's in nice clean condition um, there's no nasty marks or dints and everything looks really nice and clean now obviously it's a UK vehicle it's been on UK roads there's going to be stone chips and obviously you know if there wasn't you'd be looking closer wouldn't you then I know I would so um, there are a few but nothing serious you see they're probably the worst of it there's a couple there as well but other than that nothing else so um obviously it's got the late star headlights with the black back and obviously the daylight running lights within they do look smart have they got the daylight running i'm not sure if they have another too well let's check let's check i can't remember on these ones Easiest way. No, not on those ones. I thought they had. Sorry about that. It's just the normal side lights. Better to be sure than sorry. Right, so yeah, headlights in nice clean condition. Obviously, it's got the latest style with the black. They do look smart. There's no damage, no, uh, no misting or anything like that, no cracks front bumper you'll notice it's got front parking sensors it's got the FORD style American grille and also the passenger side headlights in nice clean condition as well so there's nothing really to show you on the bumper there are a couple of stone chips but nothing serious passenger side front wing is in nice clean condition there's no nasty marks or dents and everything looks really nice and clean passenger side front wheel and tyre wheels in good condition it's the laser edge wheels and they've got a little bit of lift starting to come through not bad uh, it's a continental tyre i guess yeah, I think it's probably about six mil under the arch is nice and tidy there's no signs of any damage everything looks nice and clean windscreen is in nice clean condition obviously it's a heater type if you look close you can see the filaments elements in the glass uh, there's no stone chips or cracks. Passenger mirror back's in nice clean condition. There's a very fine scratch on it, but that's nothing. And the glass is intact. Over the pillars. And as you can see, there's no nasty marks or damage. Passenger side of the roof is in nice clean condition as well. So before I go down the passenger side, I always like to look at this side. Reason being is you can see that there's no misalignment of gaps. 
it's clearly not been painted because obviously all the paint's perfect between all three or four panels rather. Right, so let's go down the passenger side. Nice view to take is this one because then we can see if there's any dints, any marks and any scratches. Side steps are in nice clean condition. I can't see any marks or dents on the panels. Being really critical on the very edge of the door. You can see that there's a tiny little mark. Other than that, there's a tiny stone chip there. I can't see anything else. Rear quarter is in nice clean condition. And there's no nasty marks or dents. Passenger rear wheel and tyre wheels in good condition apart from we've got a bit of lifting again on there. Continental tyre, 7mm tread, give or take. And under the arch is nice and tidy. Passenger side tail lights in nice clean condition. There's no damage, no cracking, no mistings, everything good. Tailgate. Is in nice clean condition. Um, being critical. A couple of little stone chips there. Nothing serious at all. Rear bumper's in nice clean condition. There's no damage. We have got uh, reversing sensors. There's a tiny little mark there, but it's nothing. And um, there is a reversing camera on these as well, which we'll show you when we get inside. We've got a tow bar with the later style electrics. Um, it's got a red rock roll and lock. Nice bit of kit, very similar to the mountain top. Um, money wise, a little bit less, but not a great deal less, but still probably a couple of grand plus the VAT. Right, bear me one second, I'm to try and do this one handed. So, uh, the mountain top works well. It's nice and smooth. In the back, it's nice and clean, there's no damage, everything looks well. The action the top works okay. It locks into place, that's good. Works as it should. Yeah, it's all good. Driver's side. Tail light's nice and clean, there's no damage, no misting, no cracks, everything's intact, everything looks good. Rear quarter's nice and clean. It's all good. So, driver's side, again, no misalignment of gaps. Paint looks all spot on, there's no weird patches or anything like that, so it's all good. Driver's side, rear wheel and tyre. Wheels in good condition again. There's a little bit of lifting on the on the surface of it, but nothing serious. It's matching tyre, matching tread depth to the opposite side, probably about six mil, give or take. Under the arch is nice and tidy. So the surrounding wild track spoiler is in good condition as well. There's no damage. And round the window surround, you can see there's no damage either. Everything looks good. Rear windows in nice condition. Pillars, and again it's in nice clean condition, and the driver's side of the roof is again really nice clean condition as well. Right, so driver's side, side steps in nice condition, no damage, panels look nice and clean, I can't see any marks or dents, let's have a couple of passes to make sure I'm not missing anything. There is a tiny stone chip just there. And there's a couple down here as well. It's not bad, but they are there. Driver's side mirror back's nice clean condition. There's no damage. Mirror's intact. And then driver's side front wing is in nice clean condition again. And there's no nasty marks or dents. There is a stone chip on top. Get the touch-up pen, they're gone. 
very fine. I don't know, it's muck. Ignore that. Driver's side front wheel and tyre. Wheel's in good condition. Again, there's a bit of lifting. Really bothered about that. Get them paddock out of the gun then. Matching tyre. Matching tread depth to the opposite side. Now about five, six mil. Under the arch is nice and clean. So it's got a full set of continental contacts all around. Really good tyres. Plenty of life left in them as well. Onto the interior. Driver's side door card is in nice clean condition. There's no damage. On your armrest, it's nice and tidy. There's the electric windows times four. And then also your window lock. Up above is your central lock-in. Driver's seat. Bolsters are nice and firm. Material's nice and clean. There's no cracking to the side of the seat. Unusual to see. Because they do, they do crack there for some reason. So whoever's had this has been very careful getting in and out. Um, it's a fully electric seat. Still works as it did new. Nice and slick. The movements are perfect. Wild track carpets all around. More overmatch rather. And the carpets are in nice clean condition. Right, so dashboard is nice and clean. There's no nasty marks or damage. Steering wheel's in nice clean condition. Being very critical, there's a very tiny little bit of um, bleaching from the sun on the top of it and that is nothing. Let me tell you, it's nothing, but I'm being, I'd rather be 100% obvious about everything. Um, but there's no stitching coming out of place. Everything looks nice and clean. Cup holds in the front, obviously. Uh, six speed automatic gearbox in these, about 35 to a gallon, it's going to depend on you obviously. Nice armrest, they are comfortable, situated in a good spot. If you see that black vent there, that if you've got your air con, you can turn that over and it pulls cold air into that, so it's not a cold box, but you know, about as good as you're going to get. Um, passenger seat, bolsters feel like new, material feels really very clean on that. Don't look like it's been sat in to be honest with you. you. Do see that a lot obviously with these vehicles when they're VAT applicable. You can claim your VAT back, your tax back, offset your tax. It makes a lot of sense for a company direct to have one of these. Right, so start it up. Fires into action straight away. You can see there's no warning lights on the dashboard apart from fuel. Um, so everything as you can see on there, there's no warning lights, nothing to worry about at all. Um, steering wheel controls, basically this one here controls this part of the screen here, and you've got lots of different options. Down below is your cruise control, I'm sure I don't need to show you that. This part here controls this part of the screen here, and then the lower part here is your media center. Right, there you go, so you can hear the speakers are good, there's no distortion, everything sounds as it should. Media center, reversing camera first, as you can see, it's a lovely clear screen, very easy to see. Top right hand corner, you can see the picture of your truck and there's a fan in front and a fan behind that shows you where your parking sensors are. So obviously you've got a decent idea of where you are in relation to things. Uh, media center on these, arguably the best in any pickup truck available. I've never sat in a Tesla one yet, but uh, these are very, very good. So your nav and your map is slick. It works like it does on your phone. It's very quick. It's accurate as well. From here, then you've got your phone, um, your radio or your music or whatever. You've got lots of different sources, including Bluetooth audio. As you can see, um, heated seats, I'll tell you what, let's put one on, let's try that while I'm here, I'll try the passenger one as well. And then obviously you've got your different settings in mobile applications from there, including Wi-Fi, Apple and Android CarPlay, and also ambient car lighting as well. So when it's at night, you can pick different colours for that. Everything works as you would expect it to, and perfectly as well. Seats in the back are very nice and clean, and again, they don't really look like they've been used, if I'm honest. Roof lining's nice and clean, it's free from any damage, and also it smells nice inside. It doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in, and it certainly doesn't smell like doggy, so it doesn't smell like a dog's been in it. 
Um, can't think of anything else. If you know, oh, I'll tell you what, let's look at the windows. They all work perfectly. Tinted windows in the rear. Um, well, let's let you fold the mirrors. And the heated seats work as well, so I'll switch that off. Um, like I said before, you know, if you think I've missed something, just ask, it's not a problem. Put the bonnet. It's worth mentioning we do specialise in pickup trucks, commercial vehicles, vans, etc. So, you know, we've always got new stuff arriving all the time, um, and we've got plenty on site, lots and lots of choice. So if you check our website, it's justcomparecars.com. All the vehicles are on there and they've all got videos exactly the same as what I'm doing for you now. So rear door card, again, it's in really nice clean condition. There's no damage. Everything's very nice and clean. The seats in the back, as I suggested earlier on, they do look like new. The bolsters feel like new. Everything looks really very nice and clean. Seats come up at the back. Cubby holes in there. Again, it's got the wire track overmats all around. The carpets are all nice and clean. Bit of a bonus, nice option. It's got the 230 volt socket in the back for the kids so they can charge the phones, they can have media players, whatever they want. TV if they wanted. All your tool rolls are there. And again, you can see all the seats were in fantastic condition throughout. So look in the passenger side. Bumblebees there, it's moved a little bit though. So, send passenger door card. Again, it's in lovely condition. There's no signs of any wear or use. It looks really very nice and clean. And everything looks great. Passenger rear. And again, it's in lovely condition. Being critical, there's a couple of tiny little marks on the seat there. Maybe they put some boxes or something in the back. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Always good in a range of my preference over any other, simply for the fact that you can lift it with one hand and it will stay up on its own. So under the bonnet, obviously it's got full service issue, it's all up to date, everything's correct for it. Um, so all the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. Turbo unit's nice and clean, no oily residue around there. Belts are in great condition. It's a genuine Ford battery, although the label's peeling off everything looks great so there's no signs of any historic oil leaks around the engine bay um, everything looks really very nice and clean and we don't clean them under these this is just as it came as you can see let's have a quick look underneath hopefully you're still with me and again i can't see no signs of any historic oil leaks Everything looks nice and clean and dry. Exhaust in good condition. Rear diff's in nice clean condition, it's dry. No oily residue. Spare wheel is an alloy. And it's got a virtually brand new, I think that's a Continental tire. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Maybe a little bit more. I'd rather show you too much at the end of the day than not enough. It's obviously better to do it like that, isn't it? Um, like I said before, you never think of missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. It's not a problem. Um, also, check our Facebook page. There's going to be more pictures of this truck that you won't find it anywhere else. Give us a like and a thumbs up when you're there. They'd really appreciate it. But for the moment, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really take care. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye. Even wow.